Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the week ahead. Sun, moon, rising Sagittarius, or wherever Sagittarius influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Sagittarius, let's get right into the reading. If you are on a platform that allows for commercials, there will be one in this reading. I will stop the message so the message is, that doesn't get interfered and I will let you know. The full oracle card spread is here and then there's an extended link below for a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So let's get into it guys. Welcome back. Sagittarius energy for the week ahead. Sagittarius energy for the week ahead. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy for the week ahead. 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 The energy that's crowning your reading, Sagittarius. Life is a mystery. This is a very soulful card. This is a card, this is a shamanic card. Putting on a mask to enter into the spirit world. So uh, putting on the face, putting on the headdress of, of the spirit world to enter into another world. To see through the eyes of spirit or have spirit see through your eyes. I think that you're getting a deeper understanding this week as well. The number eight is infinity. Okay, so you're getting a deeper understanding this week, a deeper look into what matters to you, what matters to those around you, what matters about those around you, and also deeper insights into um, not necessarily things that were hidden from you, but certain types of um, understandings that you didn't have before. There seems to be a maturity here of emotion and mentality. Um, as well as a sense of something bigger than yourself being more important than yourself this week. It's almost like Lord Jupiter has entered back into your sign after retrograding quite a, quite a few months, I think since April, in uh, Scorpio. And that effect was very profound. It kind of showed you some underbelly things. It kind of showed you a kind of world that was not pretty. That would have been a little bit rougher for you. And honestly, Sagittarius, I think that it's helped to uh, open your eyes a lot to the spirit world. There seems to be a connection this week with the spirit world, the, the world of the unseen, um, a sense of being able to hear or talk to or speak to the angels or um, commune with the spirits. Uh, in other words, dreaming. You're dreaming a lot this week. You're having a lot of profound dreams that are helping you to understand, I think, yourself better as well as things going on inside of yourself better. There could have been some sort of upsets with some sort of relationship that you have, a relationship that you that is very important to you or perhaps was feeling less important to you than it should have been. And perhaps there's another interpretation of this card, which is you had to wear a mask put on a mask, put on a sense of acceptance or happiness when you didn't really feel it. There is something that to do with, you know, put on a happy face when inside that's not what, that's not what was going on. There was definitely a sense of worry and upset or feeling like you were forced into a situation where you couldn't be your true self. But I can tell you this, Sagittarius, all of this has to do with something that is destined in your life, something that is fated to happen, a benchmark in your life that's coming up soon. And I, it's all about preparation and prep, 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 prepping you for this next stage of who you are to become so that the mask is almost you filling into it. It's almost like you're becoming somebody new. Very interesting energy. Um, so yes, if you are on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm gonna sneak one in here. If not, let's keep going. If so, you won't miss the reading. It'll be here when you get back and I will see you in about 30 seconds. All right, let's keep reading, let's keep going. So life is a mystery. Yeah, there's a sense of you this week, Sagittarius, that's just like, 
I can't make sense of it and that's okay. Some things don't have to make sense. Some things don't have to have answers. Some things don't have to add up. The most important thing I think that you're realizing this week that brings you a sense of calm and a sense of peace is that not everything is going to be answered. Not everything is going to be something that you can figure out. And you're more than happy to walk away, leave it behind, and look to see what the future holds for you. Next two energies that are out, what did I, like, butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. You, this is a, the transformative time, and it's a beautiful time, actually, because these are the last, I say, about three weeks that um, Jupiter will be in Sagittarius. It enters into Capricorn sometime in early December, and I think that um, this is sort of that rendezvous, that last hurrah, that sort of um, uh, melancholy feeling of you know that the good times are about, not the good times are about to end. That's not true. It's just that it's almost like, it's almost like your childhood is what's ending. And you're faced now with a sense of mortality. And not that anything, you're sick or anything. That's not what I'm saying. I think that you're you're faced with a sense of, it's almost a sombering energy that's starting to come over you. And it's not negative. It's maturation, if I can say that. It's, it's, it's a sense of growing older and this has nothing to do with your age. But something probably happened that made you feel out of, your, out of sorts, outside of yourself. And that trip through that underworld where Jupiter was visiting Pluto for a while... I think really did show you some harsh things that you would very much rather have and usually had been able to just let slide off your back, but it was like bam in your face, like wham in your face and you couldn't get around it. And this has made you into somebody that you weren't before. You have transformed, I think, actually into a better version of yourself. So many people would argue that the bar, the butterfly is a better version of the, the caterpillar, that the caterpillar is the building blocks and that the butterfly is its most mature, highest form. And that's what's happening to you this week is you're reaching another level of existence in your body and in this world, esoterically speaking. Now, in terms of 3D speaking, this is speaking of changing jobs, getting new job opportunities. This is maybe changing relationships. This is coming out of a shell of sorts, coming out of a sense of a temporary position in your life, a position that just didn't fit it like you didn't fit in the skin that you were in anymore and you had to burst out of it and you had started to feel like you were actually pretending or playing playing at being yourself in your own life and this is a transcendence out of that and into you those weren't it wasn't actually you being fake it was a uh, symptomatic of you transforming of you becoming this better version of yourself this 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 better more mature version of yourself there is this sense of um like i say a sombering effect but also there's a sense of being more beautiful and and actually being more dexterous and being able to understand the world maybe from a higher perspective and actually if you see there's a lot of butterflies on this card and this is the 11 card 11 is an angel number it is a number of perfection and beauty. It is a highly spiritual number. And it, I, I feel like ooh, there's a sense of you actually being able to finally be exactly who you want to be and a feeling of you being where you're supposed to be. In other words, finding a position, finding a job around people that you actually like. This old job probably you didn't like. Just to be honest with you, you had to fake it every time you walked into work. This transformation or this transition, this 3D um, um, translation of this very esoteric spiritual message is that you are walking into a position, a world, a new opportunity that is so much more sincerely you. And it could have something to do with overseeing people, um, uh, being able to oversee a project, being more of a strategist, which honestly is a much better job for you. If you had been stuck in a position where details are were, were the most important aspect of your job, 
it was probably driving you crazy. It was because, because honestly, the details aren't what fascinate you. The concepts of life are what fascinate you. And so strategy is much more conceptualizing or strategy is a much more um, fulfilling position for you. And that's what you're finding. That's what you're getting into. Time for a beginner mind. This speaks once again to the story that we've been telling all along, Sagittarius, is in that, yes, this is, this is a new start for you, but you are walking into this new life well armored, armored against all of those things that basically were attacking you, hurting you, harming you, disappointing you in your own life, old life. So yes, you may be a bit bristly this week, but I also don't think so. I think that you are prepared and it is who you are and you walk into the room with a, quite a bit of confidence. This is also very Aquarian energy. Um, quite a bit of confidence in who you are, no matter what. If people don't like the newer version of you, well then that can be their problem. You're not going to be caught up in whether or not they like you. That is, that is a part of you that you gladly left behind. Mm. Ooh, you are never alone, and this is my true love card. So this isn't a love reading. The love reading is over on the other side, but, but, in other words, I feel like this is your heart, your heart being whole. And it could very well be because you are with somebody who you absolutely adore. This speaks to long-term commitment and companionship. This speaks to a playful, fun, happy relationship. This speaks to a happy home, happy hearth. This is not just passion love, sexy love, lusty love. This is home and hearth love. This is raising a family love. This is trusting each other and friendship love. So this is actually loving the skin that you're in and loving what you do. And that is the central card for this reading. It's not the energy crowning this reading, but it is the central energy for this reading, which all has to tell me that bottom line is, Oh, I just, okay. So there could be somebody making a, a proposal for marriage. You could have decided to get married recently. There is a sense of, I want to be with you forever. Like you are my forever person. And it's a, it's a, it's, it's a playful energy. There's a really beautiful, playful energy here, but at the same time, it's a more mature energy because you're ready to Build your home and build your future with somebody. Sometimes life stings. So you could have been disappointed in love or worried about somebody that you love. Sing your own song has come out, which means I think that somebody, I actually heard this. It's almost like somebody was warning you that somebody may be trying to hurt you, harm you, attack you, or just not being sincere with you. And then bring your ideas to life. There is a sense of entrepreneurialism here. This could very well mean that you have gone into business for yourself or that, yeah, that's what I feel is primarily with this, with this card specifically is that you are, you, you may be working on your own business. You have maybe have decided to just become somebody who's freelance, somebody who's contract, somebody who does their own thing and is in business for themselves and doesn't work full time for a company because that does, just doesn't work for you. There is a sense of bad news having been delivered through the internet, um, something that disappointed you. It, and it could not have been personal news. It could have been news that had to do with Mm, maybe your old employer or your old place of work, some sort of dirty business coming out. And I think that that's the blessing in disguise this week is that as much as it might have stung when they let you go, if they let you go, as much as it might have hurt you and aggravated you that, you know, your income might have been put at risk or whatever that destabilization was a couple of weeks ago. What this is saying to me, is that that was actually a blessing in disguise because it disconnected you from a dysfunctional situation that you really don't want to be associated with anyway. And so it's almost like, you know, like, like the canary gave off like a, the warning, the warning call, the singing of the song, the song that sort of liberated you and set you free. The canary sort of warned you. And I think that either you left your position 
or you had no choice, you were forced out of your position, but this was definitely a blessing in disguise because this is you getting back to who you are authentically and having enough time enough time to sort of pick up an old instrument that you haven't played in a long time or go out and start singing a couple nights a week like Phoebe from Friends on her guitar at a coffee shop. You're just getting back to something that you are, that you had to put away from you or behind you because it wasn't adaptive to your schedule, but now it is. It's like, yeah, your heart is very, very happy over something that could have been disappointing. I feel like there was a healing here. I'm going to flip the camera angle around so I can review the cards for you. For, for, um, for you. Hold on. All right there, Sag. Here we go. This means that what you put your hands to this week is going to work. This is a good news card. This is, you will have the energy and you will have the support and you will also have the inspiration. Think of like, almost like the the um, Ace of Wands energy from the uh, original Tarot, original Rider White. This is that spark of divinely inspired idea. And this is having the energy and the resources to actually support it. This could be an offer coming in from the universe. Like I said, positioning you to a place where you actually feel good about yourself and authentic about yourself. And you honestly don't really care about people's judgments of you. You're in a position now where you can completely be yourself out loud. You don't have to pretend or watch your words or, or pretend to be something that you're not. In other words, the mask can finally fall off. This is your crowning energy and this is your central energy. And look, it's your heart right here at the center. And there was a sense of really, really being worried or worried about somebody that you love close to you. Hey, Sorry, guys, that was my dog going crazy. Um, somebody that, that is very close to you, you were worried about. Could have been something medical. Um, something that had to do with... Hold on, I'm sorry. So, it could have something to do with somebody that needed some, some sort of shot, some sort of vaccine. I don't know if you guys have been traveling. Could have been some weird foreign illness. Something that popped up out of nowhere. Something that really, really had you worried. After this sobering experience, you have a deeper, sounder sense of everything that you are and what matters to you, which means that, that the superfluous things around you do not matter as much and will not stand in your way. And I think that that's given you the energy and the drive to go, maybe go out on your own and do your own thing and just start your own business. This is a very entrepreneurial um, kind of mentality. And I think that you guys make really great entrepreneurs. And I was getting that sense from you earlier this, earlier this year, more towards September, that there was a project that you were working on that you uh, had a few setbacks with. Now, this is something that's actually taking off, something that could actually be bought into life and keep you closer to home where you actually want to be, kind of you prioritizing your family. I am going to do a full tarot spread to extend this reading and also go a little bit deeper into what this is, why, what happened, why life stings, and the future outcome of all your intent and your, like your future intent and what you're sending into the future. Um, yeah, I, and then of course I'll also do the romance reading. I will see you guys over there. Oh, sorry, the link is below. <laughs> okay.